Hey everyone, Coach Chris here from Anytime Fitness Australia and your Anytime Fitness Health Hub. Now, I have an absolute cracker of a workout for you today. It is my upper body blast. Now, don't let the name fool you. It's quite simple, but this workout is going to burn. Now to break it down quickly for you, it's four exercises with a 45 second work period with a 15 second rest between each exercise with a minute between each round and we are aiming for three full rounds. Now, I'm gonna take you through these four exercises first, then we're gonna get stuck into our warm up, the main body of the workout, and then I'm gonna cool you down and set you on your merry way. So let me take you through the first four exercises in your workout today, and then we're gonna get stuck into our warm up. So the first exercise is our push up. Now I'm gonna show you two variations today for every single exercise. I'm gonna show you the level one exercise first. So push ups on our knees, so nice and deep, pushing all the way down, all the way back up, down and all the way up. If you want to intensify this movement, straight up onto your toes, down and up, down and up. Now remember, we're doing each exercise for 45 seconds, so pick a level of intensity that is going to fit your level of fitness, okay? First weighted exercise today is our bicep curl and press. Now we're going to stand straight up on, on our mat with our shoulders back. We're going to do a curl. And then we're gonna do a full extension above our head with a rotation, all right? So double rotation here, curl and press. Now you can also do this movement with a water bottle as well, okay? Third exercise is our tricep kickbacks. We're just gonna to turn to the side. Okay, we're gonna lean into a bent over row position, which we're gonna do for our fourth exercise. But for this one, we're gonna pull up and tricep kickback. So if you're trying to keep those elbows nice and high, dumbbells are going to chest and all the way out. Now you can switch this one out just for an overhead tricep extension. But if you need to do that one as well, you can just hands over and then full overhead extension, keeping those elbows in nice and tight. And then going back to our last exercise, which is gonna be our bent over row. So leaning over and rowing up, tucking those elbows in nice and tight, keeping that back nice and straight. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get you stuck into your warm up and then we're gonna get ready for our main workout. So we're gonna go through a couple of different movements. These movements, oh, these movements are gonna be really beneficial to get you started, to get you nice and warm. It's really important that we warm up before every time we train. So we're just gonna go through some arm swings and let's go. So we're gonna go forward for 30 seconds. You can uh, change the range of these swings if you like. So they can start real small and then get bigger and bigger. But as I said, a warm up is designed just to get that blood flowing, all right? So we're over halfway. Keep those arms swinging or swinging. I always get in trouble for my pronunciation of words. All right, we're gonna switch to backwards for me. So just backwards rotation, same deal. You can start quite small and then build up to bigger swings as we go. And as I said before, we're doing 30 seconds on each movement. We're just gonna go some twists. So really important to warm up, even though we might not be targeting our core in today's workout, it's really important to warm up through our core because a lot of movements, subconsciously, we use our core to stabilize. So if we're not warm, we're not ready, that's where we can injure our lower back or that's where the injury might occur on an area that we might not have warmed up. But it is important to warm up specific areas that you are gonna train. So we won't to warm up too much on our legs today either. Because we're not doing any legs today. It's all upper body blast. Okay, final thing, bringing those shoulders back in, just punching straight up and down. You gotta keep that breathing up. Hopefully you've got your music playing. I'm a sucker for a bit of Justin Bieber, so if you've got a bit of JB, chuck him on for me. Now also, last thing I do wanna say, I might've forgot at the start, I think I did, is if you've got an activity watch, make sure you start that as well. It's really interesting to know how many calories that you burn in these kind of workouts. And when you come back and do them again in a couple of weeks time, can you burn a little bit more or can you progress? Five, four, three, two, and one. All right guys, now you are officially warmed up. Grab yourself a drink of water, make sure your weights are ready. Set start on that timer and let's get ready to do the main part of our workout. 
All right, guys, here we go. So we're going to jump into the main part of the workout. Quickly, just to refresh your memory. Push-ups first, curl and press second, tricep kickbacks third, and bent over rows fourth. 45 seconds worth of work, 15 second changeovers, three full rounds. Now I'm going to press start on my timer. If you've got a timer, you can select that as well. 45 seconds, 15 rests. We're going to start with our push-ups first, and we are about to send it. All right, here we go. Two, one. And let's go. So as I said, we're trying to aim for a full 45 seconds. Now it's really important not to rush. Don't rush your movements. I personally would much rather you get 45 seconds of full push-ups than stopping because you've gassed now. Nice and strong, abs tight. I also like to separate my feet. Halfway, guys. Eyes forward. Keep that spine neutral. Keep the depth on our push-ups. If you need to drop to your knees, drop to your knees as well. Seven seconds. You'll hear my counter countdown for us. Three, two, one, rest. And tight, good. Okay, jumping up. Second exercise is our bicep curl and press. Keeping our body nice and straight, grabbing our dumbbells. Let's go. So curling up, full press, down. Up, full press, down. Keeping our back nice and straight. Now I like to look up where I'm pressing, but you can just look forward. You can also do this exercise sitting down as well. If you find yourself leaning back, stagger your feet. Put one foot forward, one foot back, and this helps. Helps promote your body, stay forward, rather than trying to lean back. Nice and strong. <sighs> Nearly there. Two, one, and time. Now, I would always suggest finishing off your last rep, guys. Never fail. Make sure you're always getting all your reps done. Utilizing your rest, take a few deep breaths. Bending down. Tricep kickbacks, let's go. Control the movement. Pushing all the way back. Keep your breathing up, guys. You gotta fuel your body and your muscles with oxygen. Keeping that back nice and straight. Halfway there. Halfway. Sometimes I have nightmares from this lady's voice. I don't know if that's bad or not. Keep going, set number three on round number one. Full extensions all the way out. And time well done. We're doing really well, guys. Last exercise is our bent over rows. Keeping that back nice and straight. Trying to tuck those elbows in to our side, okay? Let's go, we're down and rowing up. Full extension, big squeeze. Shoulders back, trying to hold that pencil between our shoulder blades, guys. Nice and strong. You don't need to go fast on these movements, guys. Because we are doing it for such a long period of time, we don't want to move fast. We want to make sure every movement is efficient as the last. We get a little rest after this. 10 seconds. Push. Three, two, one, and time. Okay, 45 seconds, guys. Grab some water. Make sure you're ready for your next round. Two rounds is our most important round. I don't know why I said two rounds, but our second round is our most important round. It's our fatigue round because the end feels so far away. So you really gotta make sure that you're switched on. You're mentally ready to go. Think about the exercises at the hand. How many reps did you get last time through? Do we wanna try and beat that? Or if you didn't count, the second round is a perfect time to count. Getting ready guys, 10 seconds, we've got push-ups. Now as I said, don't stop. Alter the exercise. Three, two, one. 
And let's go. So, second round. Abs nice and tight. Keep that depth on every single push-up. Really important. Full range, down and then up. Down and then up. As I said, if you need to drop to your knees, halfway there. drop to your knees and keep going. Keep doing the movement because you're still working the same muscle groups. Up. If you can get back on your toes for the last 10, get back up on your toes. Five seconds. Four, three, two, two one. one. Time, move, jump it up. All right, bicep curl and press, guys. Bicep curl and press. We're nearly there. Here we go. Three, two, two one, go. Let's go. Nice. And slow and controlled. Don't rush this movement. Keep your breathing up. Keep those elbows tucked in here. Twist, full extension. If you did my arm workout from last week, or my upper body workout, you would hear me tapping the dumbbells. I always like to touch, because that way I know I'm doing the same rep every single time. Keep pushing, guys. Six seconds, nearly there. Oh, good, well done. All right, tricep extensions. Third exercise, second round. My arms are starting to get a little bit, a little bit tired here. I don't know about you guys. Tricep extensions, here we go. Elbows up, full extensions. Back nice and straight. If you're feeling it in your back, then I would suggest switching to our overhead tricep extension. Elbows in tight. All the way up. Because you just think, right, when you're doing those tricep extensions, the bent over ones, you're putting pressure or you're forcing your lower back to work. So if you need to give it a bit of rest, as I said, don't sacrifice the exercise, find an alternative. Here it is, right here. This might even burn more for you. One hand time. All right, bent over row, guys. Last exercise, second round. I'm glad you're still with me, guys. Glad you're still with me. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. So if I stand front on with you, dumbbells staying tight, full range, reaching down, squeezing that back. Stay strong. Good, halfway. Let's go guys, second round. We only got one to go. Strong. Big squeeze. Oh man, the burn. We're gonna earn some rest after this. Finish one more rep if you can. Good, well done. 45 seconds rest, guys. We have one last round. I'm getting in for a virtual high five. Bam, bam, bam. Now we have one last round, guys. I need you to ramp it up. Now, if you did those push-ups on your knees, I want you to try. Just try doing a couple on your toes. You curl and press if you have access to heavier weights. Grab them or try and go a little bit faster. Try and chase that burn. Try some kickbacks. Heavier weight or try to control. Try and contract the top of each rep. And your bent over rows really pull those shoulders back, guys. We have seven seconds. Last round with me, push-ups. I hope you're ready, because this is gonna be hard. One, go. Let's go, last round. Keep your depth all the way down, all the way up. Oh, I've got the shakes, guys. I've got the shakes, and it's not a chalk mint shake either. Oh. I'm working with you guys. I'm not stopping. If I stop, you can stop. So I'm not stopping. 
Let's keep working. Uh, 10 seconds. Oh man, damn, Woo. curl and press, here we come, three sets to go, oh my goodness, two minutes 15 to home, here we go, curl and press, Woo. oh that got me heart rate up just a little bit, Woo. nice and strong, full range, Dig deep for me, guys. We're nearly there. Oh, come on, Chris, you got this. Come on, guys, dig deep with me. I'm hurting just as much as you. Oh, keep pushing. Oh, come on, lady, where's your voice? Dig deep, guys. Well done. Great job. I was saying that just as much for me as I was for you then. Last tricep extension, guys, or tricep kickbacks. Here we go, four seconds. Three. Let's give me a good side this time. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I make myself laugh. Full extension, all the way out. Oh. Halfway, guys. Nearly there. Back straight. I think my back was rounded then. Hopefully you guys picked up on that. Keep pushing. Five seconds, guys. One to go. Last exercise. Man, here we go. We're nearly there, guys. Five seconds. Last one. Full range. Nice big squeeze. All the way up. Fifteen seconds, come on, let's go. Finish this out for me, guys, nearly there. We're nearly home. Come on, five, four, three, two, one more, big squeeze, and done. Well done. Well done, guys. Great workout. Three rounds, four exercises, 45 seconds on each exercise. Man, I am done. Grab yourself a drink of water, guys, and we'll be right back to do our cool down. So, really important to make sure that you cool down as well, just as much as you warm up, because ultimately, I want you to be able to keep training throughout the week. Jeez, I'm a little bit puffed. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a chest stretch first, so just pack away your weights. Really important that when you do happen to get back into an entire fitness gym, you do make sure that you pack away your weights, okay? So we're gonna start with a chest stretch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna find a bit of a wall here. We're gonna stand with our arm up at a right angle, feet parallel to the wall, and we're just gonna push against the wall and turn away. And we're just gonna hold this stretch there just for about 20 seconds. So really trying to utilize that stretch through our chest. And the reason why we're stretching our chest right now is because we've done three sets of push-ups, right? So we're, as soon as our warm up, we're gonna warm up areas that we're gonna be training. We wanna also cool them down and help them recover as well. Five seconds. Now we're gonna move down into a bicep stretch with the same arm. So just bringing your hand down to the ground. As you can see, pointing your index finger, putting that against the wall and turning that body away. And that's gonna stretch right down through your bicep and your forearm muscles. And obviously, we were holding on to a dumbbell for quite some time. So your flexors and the forearms are gonna be quite tight as well as your biceps. So really important to stretch them out as well. 
from there, in five seconds, we're gonna go into a shoulder stretch with the same arm. Three, two, one. Okay, so with shoulders, I like to just pull down and across. Just because our fibers in our shoulders are a bit more lengthened this way, so that way I get a bit more of a stretch, but the more conventional way is just across like so. Let's just hold that there. Stretch that out. And everyone's completely different. Same as your flexibility levels. Some people might be super flexible and do the splits, but they might not be able to put their hands together behind their back, you know? So everyone's different. So each stretch is unique, just like your training plan should be. Last stretch is gonna be our tricep. So same arm, holding that there. I hope you guys are feeling really, really good. That was a really, really intense workout, really zoning in on your upper body. So if you do have a full training week, that workout would be perfect if you have an upper body and a lower body day. We hit every single muscle group in the upper body there, so it's perfect. Not every single muscle group, but you know what I mean. Every area, a chest movement, a bicep, shoulder, tricep, and a back. Okay, so starting back on our other side, hands are hand up at that right angle, feet parallel to the wall, and turning that body away. Working super hard to get that elbow onto the wall. Stretching out, same deal. We're just gonna hold the stretch for around about 20 to 30 seconds. Also, I like to introduce a bit of deep breathing when I cool down as well. So really trying to slow your heart rate down. In the warm up, we try to elevate it. We wanna bring it back down. Index finger down, turning away from the wall, getting that stretch through our bicep and our forearm. Holding that there. Now, if you did find that workout a little bit too easy, so to speak, and relax there, cross for the shoulder, there's plenty of great workouts in any type of fitness health hub. Just jump into exercises or workouts and do a superset. So I know I've got some abs and core workouts in the hub as well. So find me, click on abs and core workout. I know Coach P's on a couple as well. So you can add on, you can do a superset or make your workout a little bit longer. That was about 12 minutes worth of work, plus your warm up and cool down about 20 minutes total. All right, last one, triceps. And on the, on, the, on the flip side, if you found that workout to be quite challenging, mark it down as one of your favorites and really try and improve on it. That's the most important part is progression and making sure that we can feel the benefits of training on a regular basis. If you can't measure that and monitor it, then what's the point of doing it, guys? You want to feel great, but you also want to see progress. It's in our nature. Relax there. Now, from the bottom of my heart, guys, thanks for tuning in and taking the time of your day to exercise with me today. I hope you had a great workout. Once again, my name's Coach Chris, and that was your upper body blast. If you ever have any questions about anything health and fitness related, make sure you find me on Instagram. My username is at Chris Nelson's World. I love a good crazy pair of socks, so if you do wear crazy socks, make sure you wear them next time we do our workout. But until next time, have a great day, and I will see you in the hub. Peace.